Hi everyone, welcome back to my latest video. Sorry it's been a while since my last one. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on over the past couple of weeks. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying the tournament. As you can see here, I had a nice run through the World Masters qualifier, so I thought I'd play this. Um, as you can tell, my start of the season wasn't great, so I had to qualify. Um, and I've managed to make my way back through uh, the tournament to play Matt Crow in the final. So I think we're both qualified, but we'll give it a... We'll enjoy a little bit of pool this morning. Um, I'm off work this week, and I've been chatting to a few people. Been having a bit crack with Sevi Pro, um, good guy, and uh, nice to see him back playing again with a functioning mouse. Um, also doing a bit of uh, doing been doing a bit of video with speech, so he's trying to steal my uh, steal me me thing. No, no, he's, he's a great guy and uh, has a good speaking voice for it actually. So yeah, here we go playing Matt. Um, I think it'll be a week or so before I play my match in the virtual pool. I think it's likely I'll be playing Albanario, so that's always fun. Um, got quite a good record against Al, but I do think he's due to give me a beating at some point, so you never know, this could be the moment. <coughs> so those of you who like to see me lose, <laughs> you might well see that. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Hugh as well for um, doing plenty of commentary on the matches, which is always good. Makes it fun. I think everyone enjoys the matches being covered. And we're getting off to a good start in this match. Again, it's not really for anything. So yeah, just to let you know what I've been up to over the last week or so. Uh, work's been very busy. Um, like I say, just general. I can't really go into too much detail because it's private client work. Um, but yeah, I've been been very busy. As you can see, I'm playing more safety due to the lack of jump queue in this tournament, which I'm enjoying. Um, I know people don't like the alternate break, and again, I'm I'm sort of listening to people's feedback um, in terms of what they want. I thought that you know playing. I don't want this to go in. I thought people like stopping players like me, Cobra, Semi, all them lot from knocking in like seven or eight in a row was better. But I think people prefer. Even if they fall foul of that, I think they prefer that chance for themselves. So, yeah, take it on board, guys. Take it on board. And I think what I'll do is a couple of surveys um, before I set the next one away <coughs> to see who, what people want. Obviously, you can't please everyone, especially not VP4, but we can try. Ah, right. So here I'm going to play with a bit of um, so yeah we had a, a photographed a wedding yesterday I ordered a new camera um, oh well that's easier than potting I suppose I ordered a new camera and I ordered it with two weeks in advance and it was sort of camera that was good at, very good at low light which I think we sort of if we struggle with anything it's the low light stuff because our gear is good but not great and um, unfortunately it didn't arrive, uh, so I had to use my old gear, which a bit more of a struggle. It doesn't mean for necessarily worse pictures. Oh no, that white's close. Didn't go in, so good clearance off the mat. So that in offs cost me at least one rack, uh, possibly more. This one should be a clearance. But again, you've got to get these. This is always where the pressure is on this to go to our first sort of mini checkpoint at 2-2 rather than 3-1 down uh, but yeah so that didn't come I get home from the wedding and my neighbours at the door going I've got a package for you it came about midday I was like oh no so yeah there it was all wrapped up and uh, perfect condition so good, good that it's here but not good that it arrived on the day I needed it and when I'd already left Plus, I would have needed like a day or so to, you know, get used to using it. So it wouldn't have been a, it really wouldn't have been a viable option. <clears throat> now, I want that red to stop. And it hasn't. Has it? No, I'm just seeing things now. So yeah, just a nice containing safety here. Oh, that's a clever shot. Oh, that's very good. I've got a route to it, so a little bit unlucky actually, but very well played. 
Nice solid hit. And in fact, if I'd have hit that much harder, I would have probably potted the two. Which would have been a fluke, of course. A couple of games I've been uh, aware of. Farming Simulator 22 is coming out, so I'm tempted by that. And also I've been fiddling around with um, Fishing, the Russian Fishing 4 game, which is actually free. It's been in beta for about two years. And I've been playing with that. And it's, it's sort of mildly addictive, although um, I haven't quite got into the nuances of the game yet, but I've found it quite peaceful. I know there's a streamer that I used to watch, um, a Dutch guy on Twitch. Uh, he's actually lost a lot of weight. I actually went back on. I haven't been on for about a year uh, much. But I notice him streaming all the time. Now, that wasn't a good shot. It's too straight. And he'd lost a lot of weight, so well done to him. And it's something I'm trying to do um, very much at the beginning of the process, unfortunately. But uh, he looked like he'd done really well. And uh, he plays a lot of this game and on a sort of community basis, so he's, he gets into that side of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fisher person, but I just, you know, I like to chill out, as you guys know. And, it's just something a bit different, isn't it? Just sit with the rod in the water and it's quite relaxed. Now, you might play the combo here. No, and that white's close. Ooh, catches a knuckle. Good shot. And where's the white this time? Very close this time. Ooh, but he's jawed himself, watch. Ah, oh, computer doesn't do that shot very well. I don't think it realises that it's jawed or sort of factors in the, the cushion very much. Maybe something for Steve to look at in the future. If he's mindful to do that, the game's a lot of people. Obviously, the AI—it's not a big focus on the game uh, because not many people, except me, actually use it. I just think it's a nice way of playing a few, few fun games. I want to also give a shout out to Cobra, uh, who who I do a few lessons with, and he's wanting to do one, so hopefully we'll get that sorted soon. So here I'm just going to try and stop it. It doesn't really matter if it skims away. Any any movement away makes it harder, but you can't let yourself get too fixated on that. So I'm doing well here, 5-2 up. I haven't really mentioned the score. A ball down there, and it looks like, oh, no, it's a beautiful hit now. Probably worth just going for this in the hope that I don't enjoy it. Yeah, got it. Um, oh, ball down will be good. Oh. Another thing I got, I, I got contacted by someone about poker writing. I used to do it a few years ago. And they got in touch asking if I fancied a, an, another crack at it, which was weird. And uh, that has come out a lot better than I deserved there because I didn't play that too good. So a little bit lucky. Um, I'm going to play this up the cushion as like a shot to nothing, but with safety in mind. I've massively overcut it to the point that I might actually end up putting the seven. Well, I haven't. And then I've actually made it easier for him, but at 6 2 down. Oh, that's unlucky. So he's got to play safe. If he misses it here, he could be in trouble. Well, it's not played it great. Now I'm going to try and be fancy here and glance off the four to open it up and land on the two. And of course, I hit it full ball. Um, so here, just inside shot, try and get behind the purple. Well, I played it too well. Knocked the purple into the worst position ever for me, right on the cush. Uh, here, I'm just going to rest on it. Oh, I think that's a foul, and I didn't. Um, I went through too uh, thin anyway. We can deal with the purple ball because I don't want to, and he's left it on. So I can say I can pretend that I meant it, but I didn't. Mm, just got that wrong. I load up a side here. I played that well. I don't know how that dropped. If we look at the ball here, watch this. 
I really don't know how that went in. I've no idea how that went in. Wow. Right on the point. And that one as well wiped its feet. But I end up getting out, so happy days. So there we go, guys. A good win against Mac Matt. And uh 7 2 win in the end. And I win the event, so that's always nice. Always nice to win the event. Qualify for the World Masters. So yeah, as you can see, mixed. <laughs> Despite being 30, finishing the last 32 every event, I'm 19th, which is weird. Because I'm pretty much, I should be 32, shouldn't I? But it depends how close you are to the top of the 32 in terms of racks one. Um, and obviously ranking points available. So, yep, through the World Masters, let's see who we're going to play. Uh, I'm not going to be playing that probably next. Um, we are playing Freewheeler, and we have potential match against Louis in the, uh, I think that's the quarterfinals. No, it's the semifinals. So Louis in the semi-finals and then probably Big Wave. How are those guys? Or the Maraja or the Dazzler. That's a massive match in the first round. I wish you could watch, watch these games, but you can't. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.